the students I've had over the years have come from all different walks of life. But despite all the differences in all these people, I think what they share is the love of this kinetic, physical discipline. Dancing with sticks, I guess. <laughs> I did a concert in Carnegie. Meredith Monk, the dancer, was there. She paid me a high compliment afterwards when she said, you were dancing. Okay, and I thought, cool. I thought I was gonna be a doctor. And it was at the point I had to really commit in college and give up music for a while that I panicked and said, that's my life. I don't know how I'm gonna earn a living, but I have to keep doing that. Good, your 16ths were really good until you doubled them up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. The thing that intrigued me as a little kid was I was one of those kids that had a form of synesthesia. Pitches had a physical presence for me. I could actually feel a shape to them. And this marimba provided a shape that corresponded. Just something about the richness of the sound. That became my voice. I mean, that was the instrument I imprinted on. Actually, it's somewhat of a problematic instrument in that it's, I think, the only instrument other than a few hammered string instruments that you don't touch. And all the words we use to describe playing this instrument are violent. We hit, we smack. And that's the character of what percussion is. Nobody else does this and tries to play a phrase. You know, singers don't pound themselves in the gut to, to sing their rhythm. You know, you just cannot relax in this piece. Yeah. So you need to develop a relationship that allows you to feel musical motion. So the, the challenge is to make it natural. The idea of teaching in any musician who shares what they do with others starts very early. The students who come to me want to get better. We have a partnership. It's not top down. And I love it when I get a master's student who comes in and they're doing this high stroke hammering and I teach them how to quiet their wrists, meaning not so much motion. And when it suddenly pops in their head what they're trying to do, usually they laugh. And I'll say, what's wrong? And they say, it's so easy. And I said, exactly. <laughs>